What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secrets and today I decided to do uh, what's in my Dior uh, book tote while I'm waiting for my flight. Um, I just thought that it would be kind of a fun video and kind of improvise while I wait on my flight. I am currently doing a solo trip to um, London Heathrow. I'm going to London for a few days by myself which is so scary. It's my first time ever doing a solo trip so we'll see how this goes. But you said it, why not film a little what's in my bag before my flight takes off. So I'm gonna quickly gonna be showing you my luggage. So this is my Remova luggage. It is literally the best luggage ever. It literally moves and spins around like nobody's business. I love it so much. Um, I'm gonna set you, I guess, right here. My book tote, I got it at a 19th birthday present to myself in September when I turned obviously 19. Um, I've had it since September 4th, so um, it's been used a lot. I've been using it almost like every single day. I quite like it a lot. Sorry that you can't really see me. I'm using kind of the luggage as my scan. So let's go ahead and kind of tell you what I fit when I kind of put it inside here. So the first things first is my laptop. This is the MacBook Pro. I usually just carry this with me wherever I go. Right now I'm actually just um, finished editing a video. So um, so yeah, so right now the video that's about to be uploaded is designer handbags are an investment. So I'll link that down below so you can check it out. But yeah, I have my laptop right here. I have my phone, and the phone that I have is the, um, I don't even know what this phone is called, it's a newer iPhone with, um, I don't like to carry cases, but I have that on me. I knew this bag that I got on sale, um, this was a $1,200 bag, I got it on sale for, I want to say $450, it's Balenciaga, it's black on black, and I really like it, it's going to be my fanny pack that I'm going to bring throughout all my trips, so um, I have my little Chanel card holder in here, I have a little a charger that, I, that can charge all my stuff, like, multiple times of my passport right here and yeah it's just a really nice fanny pack it's black it's gonna go with everything I like that the silver hardware kind of conceals so you can honestly wear this with gold, with gold or silver hardware so I like how very versatile this is and this is something I'm gonna get a lot of work out of so I really do like this I have this little um, cashmere throw um, like a little sweater this is from Theory in a size large I want it to be super oversized just in case if I get cold and yeah, this is something that I bring almost every single trip with me it's just something that I always bring that I can kind of throw around and it also kind of protects the stuff and you can't really see what's on the inside so this one right here is a great um, kind of cashmere item to bring and it, I've had this for about two years and it's hold up really really well. My main wallet, um, it's just the Chanel um, classic wallet. I bought an umbrella because I lost my two Victoria's Secret umbrellas so I went to Target and I had to buy one because you know it's essential. Um, I bought this not too long ago, it's like the little um, rolly thing and yeah I just can't wait to use it and yeah I just said why not bring it on this trip so you guys know how much I love Dakin Dover so I brought my backpack in me I checked it in but that's something that I'm gonna be using but I'm using this as my little technology bag so I have my airpod pros I have my regular airpods you can never have enough airpods I have my like chargers and stuff my little international little cube that I kind of bring with me and yeah so this is just like my little kind of catch-all of electronics that I always kind of keep on me you know I am like a youtuber and I do like to be connected so um, I was a t I was gonna use this as like a little makeup bag but I think it works better as like a little technology bag so I have that on me but I do have a little beauty bag and this is from Dior one of the girls from the counter gave it to me a couple months ago I have a little Chanel fragrance I have oil blotting sheets I have toothpaste I have this little Trish McAvoy um, little mask, not sure if I'm going to use them, but I have one of those there. I have my Lancome Beard Serum, a hand sanitizer, my toothbrush, a little new makeup remover, and then a little mini uh, flower bomb by Victor Walls. Um, but yeah, I just like to keep like my toothbrush and stuff like this. Since this is going to be a flight out of Texas, it is going to be quite a while, so just in case if I need to freshen up, I have all my stuff here. Almost kind of getting close to the ending. I have the dust bag. I always bring my designer handbag dust bags when I go through TSA. Um, just because I always don't want nothing to happen to my bags. You know, I did spend a lot of money on these designer bags, so I always bring it to kind of cover it. Um, there's no shame in my game. I have some wet ones, essential. I have um, a little pouch right here, and in this pouch right here, I just have like jewelry items. I have my Michelle watch. I have a little pair, of my only Louis Vuitton item, guys, do not hate me. I only have one Louis Vuitton item, and it's a pair of earrings that I got as a gift, but um, I have that, and this is like a little tiny rubber pouch as well. I have my favorite sunglasses. I actually 
brought quite a bit of sunglasses on this trip, but uh, my favorite ones that I'm currently obsessed with are actually not my Oliver Peoples. Surprisingly, these were like my least favorite glasses when I first bought them, but now I've been like so obsessed with them, but they are like the uh, Versace ones, the ones that everybody kind of wears, and I've just been kind of obsessed with them, so I decided to bring them and they go well with this outfit that I'm wearing. And then I brought a little selfie stick, obviously since I'm going to be by myself, so I can take pictures. And just some like other little technology things, but this is literally all I have on my book tote. Um, it fits quite a lot, it's super compact, I can literally put this inside my big kind of check-in luggage. Um, I do like this book tote a lot, like as you can see it fits all my stuff in here, it's super comfortably, and I can just be on the go. But yeah guys, this is going to be what's in my little Dior book tote, um, kind of travel edition to see kind of what I carry on me. I'll give you a little quick outfit of the day because I know you guys are kind of want to ask. And I'll kind of put links for everything down below. So I'm wearing my Toast necklace. Actually one of my close friends, Nancy, um, bought one when she went to Mexico like two months ago. And I bought this one like maybe three or four, uh, three or four years ago in like um, the Toast in Querétaro, Mexico. So I just decided to be matching with her and wear this one. This sweater I got from H&M. I don't really buy as much fast fashion as I used to, but here and there I do like to throw the occasional and I feel like this is something that I would wear a lot. It's very neat. Then my Montclair little vest. And then um, I'm wearing mother jeans. They have a nice stretch to them. And then, you know how I told you guys these shoes are a little big on me? So when my foot kind of gets the, like, incha, like when it gets swollen, these will kind of be perfect for me and I can walk quite a bit. And yeah, guys, that is my outfit of the day. And when I carry my bag, I just decided to throw uh, around this little video just to make it kind of fun and interesting. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And hopefully you guys have a great trip. Um, I'm super, super excited, guys. It's my first solo trip and I've always wanted to go to London, but, um, you know, my friends can't go or my family members can't go. And I just decided, you know what, um, why not just go by myself because, I mean, time, timing is everything and just decided now's the time and I know I got like a lot of, um, like in my personal life, like a lot of people that I know professionally and a lot of like people that I know, like I try to shame me into like me traveling alone, but um, I'm just really excited guys to go. But yeah guys, hopefully you guys see the little vlogs that are going to be coming up through Sergio's Secrets traveling to London. I'm going to be going to the Victoria's Secret store, I'm going to be doing lots of shopping, lots of tourist things, and I'll bring you along with me. And also, it's going to be my first vlogs on these channels, so you get to see a little bit about me and my personality. So I'm happy to bring you guys along, and you guys are my best friends as I travel to London and, you know, always in the future. Thank you so much for watching Sergio Secreto, and I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys, thank you so much.